Hey everyone, this is Sarah B. Boinkin. I am a licensed mental health counselor, certified personal trainer, I teach nutrition, I'm the founder of Project Potential, and most recently, I do vlogs for Moms Pump Here. And I've been asked today to talk about what to say to breastfeeding critics. And I have with me Phoenix, who's gonna help me on this topic since it's one he's very passionate about. Um, and this is a good topic, not just for those who are breastfeeding, but those who have critics in general. So feel free to share this message. So the first thing that I want to point out are principles. Before you say anything to anyone, recognize these principles and there are three of them. So the first is that people share from a place of love or fear based on their own experiences. So if it's helpful, it is because it's from a place of love. Maybe they have a positive experience from having done that in the past. In the case of breastfeeding, they may have loved and felt more connected to their child in breastfeeding. If it is a hurtful message, it may be because they themselves are hurting. And take that into consideration. The second is if you feel defensive when somebody comes to you uh, as a critic with breastfeeding or with anything for that matter, it is evidence that you are a well-intentioned mom or person. So if you feel defensive, that is evidence that you are well-intentioned. And the third is that babies can be nourished in a number of ways. So ultimately, the choice is yours and nobody else's, period. Babies can be nourished in a number of ways. He actually has avocado right now on his onesie because that is one of the ways he's being nourished right now. But the choice is yours and it doesn't need to be spoken of further. But with that, what it is that you would like to say then to breastfeeding critics to help you out is to validate. And when I say validate, there are two people that you're validating. So the first is them. And the second is you. Let me explain. So with them and validating, go back to that first principle. People share based on their own experience from a place of love or fear. And fear can also be affiliated with pain. So say to them, thank you for your compassion. And be genuine about this and, and maybe even let them know, I appreciate your concern. They're sharing simply because they care enough to do so. The second is to validate yourself. So back to those second and third principles, if you feel defensive, it's evidence that that's your ego speaking up because you are well-intentioned and you do want uh, good things to come of it. And... Uh, the third being that babies can be nourished in a number of ways and the decision is yours. So validate yourself. Remind yourself that your ultimate goal is to grow your child in a healthy way. And in saying that, I'll say that there are some um, different affirmations that you can tell yourself. I know some people aren't very comfortable to talk to themselves in the mirror, but this is something that is very helpful when you're building a relationship with yourself, especially yourself as a mom. And telling yourself, looking straight in the mirror, I'm doing what feels right for my child, for my well-being, and for our relationship, right? I'll say that again. I'm doing what feels right for my child, for my well-being, and for our relationship. So that is what I wanted to say about uh, how to address people who are critics of breastfeeding, can be critics of other things as well. But um, when you keep those principles in mind before you speak, you will find that you are better able to handle what comes your way without getting too emotionally involved or um, feeling defensive. Thanks guys.